The Dakota Valley boys basketball team extended its three game win streak with Saturday's five point win against Teos Pazina at the Sanford Pentagon, improving to 12 and three overall. Tonight, the Panthers continued a tough stretch of games against Vermillion. Fourth quarter playing with the lead, Vermillion's Jacob Dobney comes up with a steal, motors end to end hoop and the harm at the free throw and the Tanningers lead by five. Dakota Valley strikes back as standout junior Paul Bruns, the school's all-time leading scorer, buries a jumper, trimming the deficit to three. Moments later, Bruns grabs a board, hits little brother Isaac, and the freshman scores off the window, Tanagers by a point. Ahead of the final minute of play, though, Panthers grab the lead at the free throw line and earn a 51-48 win over Vermillion. Another Class A contest featuring West Central and Madison. First quarter, Trojans by two and they add two more as Hunter Haggerty hits Derek Eidsness who throws down the two-handed jam. West Central leads 4-0. Second quarter, the Bulldogs have scored eight straight as Tyler Tappy flies into the lane and scores two of his 11 points. Madison leads 16-6. Later in the quarter, the Bulldogs continue to roll as Tappy grabs a steal and feeds Carter Bergheim, who misses once, but not twice. He had 15 points, and it's 22-11. Late in the half, the Trojans end an 18-3 Madison run as Caden Yost catches and connects three of his seven points, trimming the deficit to 10, but Madison pulls away in the second half for a 64-42 win. A girls basketball game pitting West Central against McCook Central Montrose. First quarter, the Cougars trail by two, but work it to Emily Bees, who can't finish, but Madison Kepsel there for the putback and the foul. MCM leads 10-9. Later in the first, the Trojans trail by one until Cassidy Simmonsma corrals a loose ball and hits Riley Haldeman, who buries three of her 14 points. West Central leads 12-10. Ahead of the third quarter, the Cougars trail by three, but move the ball with precision. Kepsel overpowers a pair of defenders, scores two of her 14 points, 39-38 Trojans. Late in the game, Trojans by one as Campbell Fisher grabs her own rebound and kicks to Jocelyn Jarding, who buries a triple. She had a game-high 17 points. West Central outlasts McCook Central Montrose, 62-59.